Guys, it's part two. I don't know what else you want me to say. Here comes a little bit of music. Watch your ears. <laughs> guys we're with Henry from 360 knife block good morning good morning these are some of the coolest knife blocks I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this um, these are some of the coolest knife blocks because they spin and they're magnetic and you can get them with the uh, with the slots in it for like cleavers and all that stuff yes yes put two knives in there yeah you can that would work Money room. Guys, you may recognize these handles. I think if you see these handles and you've been following my channel for a while, you know that what's going to come out of here is a Mattia Barani. It's a custom. Custom Bowie Chef with the 360 knife block logo on it. So, tell me about the 360... Oh, let me get this back 360 in 360 knife block. Yeah. Well, we had our own... We had a standard knife block in our kitchen. Uh, you know, like a hand call over stuff kind of thing. Big budget, oh, big nice. production. And every time I pull a knife out, I'd pull out the wrong knife. And then sometimes if I wanted to get one from the back, I'd hit the underside of the cabinet. So that night I was gainfully unemployed and had plenty of metal capacity and I dreamed up the, uh, the 360 night block here. Uh, this one being the original beautiful hourglass shape. And uh, I prototyped this puppy in cardboard and... High, high, and end, high end prototyping. High end prototyping, uh, but the design never changed from its, from its initial concept. Um, then we had people asking for more storage. As beautiful as this was, we decided to create the Max. That gave us a full 12 inch of storage space. Oh, okay. Um, then we have- Oh, I see, because I, I I was like, what's the, and then I realized it yeah. doesn't have the base. Yeah, I got you. This was beauty and also a place to use your fingers. Yeah. Um, but this was, this was why we call it the Max, because you can load the thing up. We've had 15, 16 plus blades on here. Yeah. And this sucker is about, 15 pound so it's not going anywhere on your kitchen counter the more knives you add to it the, the more it weighs the more it weighs but you also have got these cool yeah, so wood is, blocks for on the wall yeah this is our new uh new line that came up with so we started simple and then we got a little bit more complicated now we're really complicated not really I'm joking. not really this is just like this is our iteration of the knife um my wife basically said, read all the reviews on knife bars and... They were never strong enough. They were never strong enough. There was not enough room behind for your fingers. They were difficult to mount. So we just decided to try and fix everything. Now the magic sauce on this is the back of here. Um, you have a built-in level. You can see, we provide the screws that go in here. That allows you to have a slight bit of variation or adjustment when you install it. Uh -huh. um, and that's much easier to install a piece of wood rather than trying to get two screws in exactly the right place yes. and then try and jiggle it around and then tighten it and loosen it. This is much easier to install. I'm an installer, I understand this stuff. Yeah. Um, and then we developed this, this click mechanism using standard hardware, but it, it took me a while. And you can see how many magnets we have loaded up in there. Yeah, I saw that yesterday. I was, um, I forget what we were, I forget we were looking at when we stuck it up, like we were thinking, is it going to be strong enough to hold some of the heavier, like, I had some pretty heavy tactical knives in my yep. pocket yesterday. Yeah, I'll show you that as well. So then we have these, these clips here, and then simply, it just goes like that. No play, and it's just right on there. And now, you know, you've got a big meat cleaver up here, holds beautifully. Actually, talk about tactical knives, I've got this thing here. So it's quite heavy, heavy handle, and you can see it has no problem sitting on there because you know you've got two rows of magnets yes. and then of course we you have the room behind it for your hand you know for your fingers yeah it's floating away which is a nice design we do and it uh, gives you it sorry? looks nice it looks nice when it's you've got that distance it kind of gives you a it, it, it like you said it looks like it's floating yeah it brings you a nice forward and yeah. elevates them and then of course we have you know we have different materials uh, which you can see anything so we, we use um, honey bamboo, we do not do the blonde bamboo anymore, we do do the ebonized and we do do walnut. 
um, but we can also do different color edge banding. So yeah. if you have different colored lives or you have a preference, um, you know, as time goes on, we will add more colors and more materials to our product. Well, I was just thinking like if you have, a, if you're at a restaurant and like your restaurant has a logo that has a specific color theme to it, you could get that. Like if, if the majority of your logo is blue, you yeah. could do your blue knife block. Exactly. And you know, we can provide, um, for larger orders, we can provide custom ordering as well. Custom, mm -hmm. uh, you can put your own logo on here and we'll, we'll work. Oh yeah. I was going to say, products. so you can see if you want a custom logo, um, this is basically a trivet, right? A trivet yeah. for putting a coaster, like basically a coaster for hot stuff. I'm a hillbilly. That's where we're at with that. Uh, but yeah, this one is, is a custom made for Mattia Barani. That's, that's nice. And that's nice and clean. We actually have, you look at our website, we actually have an option where you can do a, you can provide a, a design and we'll get a custom laser wrench for you. And what is it? 360knifeblock.com? 360knifeblock.com. All right. You heard that guys. Thank you very much, Henry. We're talking with Kent from, Con, what is it? Conquest Tactical? Yes. So Kent's actually making um, some out the fronts. Can I see it? Conquest Tactical. So why don't you tell us, this is this is 100% American sourced Correct. on this one? Correct. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and this knife has been opened probably 14,000 times. Uh, the God. blade is 154cm, the handle's aircraft aluminum, it's anodized. Completely American made. If you go to conquesttactical.com, you can see where we get everything made. So, nice. anyway. So, what, what would the price point be on that one? Around 350 See, that's not bad. Yeah. You'll also notice that there's no grooves or holes cut in this blade. Some people do that to make their less weight so it goes in and out faster. Ours is a completely solid blade that's been not only tempered but cryoed also. Extremely hard. You said 154 cm. Yes, it's a good steel. Yeah. All right. Well, I know you don't have a table here, but we'll definitely. I'm gonna. I've got your card. We'll definitely get together. Maybe I can get something on loan, and we can do. I'll just do a complete uh, review video of sure. something like that. Yeah, certainly. All right. All Thank right. you very much. Well, I was. I was saying we were talking ahead because I was trying to get a little backstory, so I didn't look like an idiot. We start filming. Let's start filming. So, hey, right. we're with Tony. Uh, Tony Baker. Tony Baker Knives from Claremore. Claremore, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. And uh, these are some. Uh, Bill Ruppel level oh, traditional yeah. folding knives. These are sick. So, all right, I, what I you were saying? Say, I would say, well, my background uh, is Warren Osborne. is probably the biggest influence on my knives, but uh, I got to give credit to, you know, from Joe Kyos, Tom O'Reilly, or Gail Bradley. That's my lineage yeah. on lockback knives, and they're, they differ from traditional well, yeah, yeah. knives. Yeah, they're definitely different, but I've never had, like, I honestly, can only think of a couple times, like never had one this smooth, but I can only think of a couple times that I've had a knife that was a lockback that was that yeah. frictionless. And then still locked. Like, yeah. like usually when they're that frictionless, something's broken. <laughs> <laughs> true, true that. Like an old Simmons folder that my dad had. Dude. Like, uh, you just had to play with it to make it lock. So, so you're saying everything is handmade, everything. hand done? Yeah. Nico, can you? Hear him when we were talking about. Oh, yeah, right, I'll we'll make sure. I was just getting the knives. I'm a YouTuber. I didn't say I was a very good one. <laughs> no, you guys know. That's what you pay me for. No, everything <laughs> is 100% made in my shop by me. All the uh, it's all hand satins. Absolutely, everything is uh, is done. It's hand ground. Uh, these are my drawings in the, in the inlays for the inlays. Uh, they're pantographed. I make a pantograph pattern. Okay. Two times. And then, but after that, it's hand fit into there like that. You know, that's that's definitely some Gail and Tommy uh, influence on how to fit those up. And they, they've been a big help to me. We're we're friends. We're good. We're real good friends with Aaron Frederick. And so, so Aaron Frederick was uh, John W. Smith's son-in-law, and then started learning how to make knives with John W. Smith, and Kit Carson, and yeah. stuff like that. And this this is some of the stuff that you see from his father-in-law stuff too. It's just superior handwork, just amazing fit up and stuff like that. The hours that go in. Having made knives, I will tell you, I don't want to do this. Yeah. Because I know the kind of time it takes to do these things. And now I have That's completely fine. greasy handed your knives all up. Wipes these are all. Some right Wyoming off. black jade here on this and Mike Norris uh, Damascus in that knife. No, I was, was going to ask you yeah. about the Damascus. Yeah. That's some Damascus. gorgeous. Yes. Mike Norris. Uh, I think they call it Hornet's Nest. That is. On that one. 
that is a beautiful pattern. Are you getting the, the goosebumps? Too. I already had them, but they're still there. <laughs> and it, I mean, still, even though they're beautiful and they're art, this is something you could actually functionally use. Yes. Oh, absolutely. That's, that's, that's my problem with a lot of the over-the-top art for mine. It's like, what am I going to do? California uh, Big Sur Jade in that one. And those long inlays. And you see the snake? Uh, the yep. <laughs> I love that blade shape, too. Yeah, that's... That well blade that, shape. Yeah, that is gorgeous. You'll notice the lock bar. That is, it's a front lock, and uh -huh. it's made into the frame. So when you push it down, you see how the lock bar comes up on that. Can't feel anything. Can't feel anything. <laughs> and that's when I was comparing to Bill Rupin, that's what I was saying. That that fit and finish, that that level that you get. Like Bill is amazing. His, his protege is here as well. His knives are great. That this is on that kind of Yes. Guys, you know how I talk about Bill Rupel's knives, right? Like that's that's on par right there. That is amazing. So all right, Tony. Thank you. Well wait, wait. We didn't get this one. They didn't see this one yet. Mike. Oh my god. Yeah, right? Hello, Mr. Shabazz. How are you? I don't know who you're talking about. I don't know who. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's right. Mr. Pennyweather. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. No, you're not on film. We <laughs> wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> that is... Did you do the carving on this? No, no, no. This is a, this is a client's knife, uh -huh. and he sent it to... Uh, Bailey oh Bradshaw out of Texas, and Bailey is was, an amazing artist. Oh I, I was getting ready to ask you if it was Bailey because some of the best carved knives I've seen and handguns and things like that were done by Bailey, and that's what I was getting ready to ask you if it was Bailey. Bailey, yeah, absolutely. But no, um, so my my knife lineage is out of out of the Osborne style, yeah. and that is where I'm from over there, and uh, Tommy was Warren's mentor yeah. on there. And, uh, so, yeah, that's... Tommy's probably the best knife maker in the I know. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful knives. He's yeah. got a... He's got a QR code. No, it's just going to... Oh, it's oh, just going to... going to scan it. But there's oh. a QR code here. So, I didn't know it was going to do it like filming. No, I don't anymore. I'm just on oh. Instagram. Just on Instagram. To yeah, Tony just... Baker Knives on Instagram. Yes. Look him up. Definitely. If you have a, if you have expendable, disposable income, <laughs> burn your hole in pocket. All right, guys. We're at Grissom Knife and Tool. Got some new stuff coming out. This is his production. Some sexiness. Some fun with the laser. M390. Very, very nice. He's got a budget model coming out. 154 thumb stud or flipper. So how's your show going? All right, a little slow. A little slow? Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting too much for this show. Yeah. You know, with the whole COVID thing. And, yeah. And uh, you know, the proof of, uh, what is it? Uh, I can't think now. Concept? You're filming me, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry about so that. The proof of, uh, vaccination or your, yeah uh, yeah uh, negative test you know so all that I, fun stuff yeah there weren't a whole lot of people lined up out there today but you know it's pretty nice it's today it's only 11 so. yeah yeah these these are really nice nice little small but stout very nice stuff thanks so uh everything's out already and then those are coming out soon these may be the summer coming up. Summer, okay. 2022. Okay. And then uh, this is actually my second run of 200. Second run? Okay. Okay. Very uh, nice. I'm not sure if I'm going to do any more of these after this run. Okay. So, and they're all numbered. So. Nice. Yeah, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, Instagram, website. Instagram, Grissom Knife and Tool. All right. And uh, I got my little logo. If that pops up, that's me. Go look for them, guys. Yeah, and I share everything from uh, Instagram to Facebook. All right. And I got a website too, but I don't update it that often. So I get it. But it's all grissomknifeandtool.com. You know? All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, boss. Yeah, man. Thanks Have a good one. All right, guys. Stopping by QSP real quick.
Just seeing some new stuff. Not the same stuff we've seen before, but. Get to see the Orion in person. Very nice. Good action for a button lock. And then this new section is coming out. The mini. I like this a lot. You know me. Small hands. Puppet hands. <laughs> so you said, uh, when? Next year. So next year? So next year. No, so once we sold through the regular no, second production run, I then we'll have the, the mini spar set next year. So nice. Year. Looking forward to that. Yep. Thanks, boss. Are you, we're are filming. you filming? Are we we're live? live? Yep, we're live. We're live? There are we you go. Are sure? Yes. Are we good? You're on six seconds. Okay. <laughs> so this Burnaby? Burnaby or Big B from Big B Leatherworks. So we're over here at uh, Adventure. What is it? Adventure. I'm horrible at this. Big B. Big B. Big B. Leatherworks.com. Okay. So I saw this and it got my attention. I was walking by because. Well, you go. Why don't you go? Ahead? Yeah, I'd be happy to share. Uh, I'm a biker. I do a lot of cross country trips. I wanted to create a blade that was a good bushcraft blade as well as a good fighting blade. So. What I, uh, in this design that I came up with, it comes with the bottle opener, so, you know, I come in peace, psychic disincentive, don't mess with me kind of thing. <laughs> it's got a screwdriver, pommel, glass breaker in the rear. It's got great ergonomics, uh, G10 handles uh, for reverse grip for fighting. It's got jimping right here on the thumb, so your finger doesn't slip and yep. it hits something hard. Uh, it's got jimping here for fine woodwork, uh, feather sticks, high grind so uh, it slices tomatoes for camping cookie knife uh, tapered edge for definitely piercing and then it's got a little grab hook so you can pull your kettle out of the fire without burning your hands. I was going to ask you, nice. that. I didn't know if that was for like on a sheet for like a wire cutters like you saw. Some people use them for wire cutters, but my my design's more. I, I've always burnt my hands on that little. Yeah. When, when I got my pot, when I'm making my ramen noodle on on the road, so I wanted a utility blade, one a one purpose utility tool to carry cross cut. Very nice. And that's. And but I, you do like you say you do all the, le the custom, actually, custom I, leather. Actually, I started work. doing the leather work. This is my custom leather artwork. I'm Ooh. displaying it. Uh, these, these are actually blades of that, that brothers that I've, I've made loan me so I could show because uh, but all my custom all my leather work is uh, is handcrafted uh, hand handmade I hand carve hand tool all the artwork on them. Wow. so I do a lot of that I do uh, you're gonna trip. dog collars uh, I do uh, belts uh, little wallets minimalist uh, wallets uh, card card holders and then I have this, uh, it's a coin purse in California, but it's also known, it holds about 13 quarters on there. Yep. Uh, comes with the weight uh, to keep the shape, but it's also... I know what it is. Yeah, we yeah. know. It's we a coin purse. Coin can't purse. say what it is. But, uh, yeah. we know but it, it comes with a five ounce weight for everyone that you buy. Got it. <laughs> so, these are nice. I do like this. And you said these are being done by so, like you said, these are being done by Tops. Tops knife. So they get that warranty, and you, if you've got a Tops knife, you know what the warranty is. It's basically if you do something to it, they're going to fix it. <laughs> short of handing, short of sending them it into pieces, they're going to probably take care of it. Yeah, they, they've got a great warranty. Uh, they don't. They, they people purposely try to break their blades. They. They'll, they'll deny the warranty, yeah. but nine out of ten, if it's something that it's a mistake that they made, they always they're great to work with. And yeah. I love I love Leo and Craig. They yep. they've been awesome to work with. Well, fun. thank you very much, Big B. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Stop thank you. Um, so this video will probably be up sometime. Oh, good show. Okay. I've got uh, I've got videos already scheduled out till Wednesday to okay. cover. Because I filmed all this in one day, and I did not realize how much I actually filmed. My first edit, I broke it in half and I had like 40 minutes of video. I'm going to break this into like 15 minute-ish seconds. There's probably going to be three Blade Show West videos. So that's it, guys. You know the spiel. If you love the videos, you like them, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. If you want to help support the channel, give, share the videos with people you think would like them. All kinds of ways to support the channel financially. There are affiliate links. There's an Ember Shirt Co. store. And there is the... Uh, the membership to get in on exclusive content exclusive way and see stuff like this early I'm not gonna try to make this real long I love you guys
It's a lot of fun. I'm really tired. Just got home. Just got the car off a tow truck. We'll talk about that. It's a different video. Um, so, yeah, keep it clean in the comment section, and I will see you in the next video.